Hello, my name's Martin Gibbons. I'm a local field artist, paint and draw birds and wildlife in the field. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to draw and capture a bird quickly in the field. The first thing I do is start with a body shape. You've got to start somewhere, so get something down on the paper. So we'll start off just with a circle shape for the body. So at this moment in time, that doesn't matter. Don't get too hung up on the details. Just draw something that you can then hang further detail on. So then what I want to do is think about the way the bird's sitting. You know, if it's, um, it could be a blackbird sitting on the lawn, listening, or it could be uh, something that's been startled upright. So for our little demonstration today, we'll just have an angle like that, as though it's just standing at rest, um, doing its day-to-day -day thing. Uh, the next thing is to put the head on, and this is quite important, that you must get the proportion of this correct. Because otherwise, at the end of your drawing, it's going to look very odd. So if we go back to one of these down here, if I was drawing a flamingo or a swan, it would have a small head like that. If I'm drawing a kingfisher, it's going to have quite a big head. So today's demonstration will be a finch-type, sparrow-type bird. So its head's roughly going to be that sort of size, which is approximately half the size of the, the body size. Uh, then I want to look at the way it's looking, where the eye and the beak are pointing. So I put a line in there, which is quite important because the eye will be above the beak line there somewhere. And then I want to look at the balance of the bird because the head's the heaviest thing. So the balance of the bird will be something like that. So that's an upright standing bird. Um, following on from that, I'll start putting some basic shapes on now. So really... The way the wings are now the wings can change um, the wings can be down like this or they could be slightly up like that but just draw what you see um, again it's it, it doesn't matter to start with just draw what you see and also the towel the towel could come below the wings or the towel can come up like that it depends you know what sort of mood the birds in what it's doing if it thinks it's under threat or anything or displaying this time of year in spring it might be displaying so they sometimes do that as well so don't think something's right or something's wrong just draw what you see on the lawn or in the in the trees in your house or whatever um so then we're going to do uh the wings so for the wings i'll just have a a triangular shape like this to start with and I always do a little triangle for the towel, which helps me with this line here, which is the under towel covers. Okay, so that's that. So basically it looks a bit like a snowman at the moment, but we have got a bird shape. The head proportion should be okay. The wings and the towel are in the right place. The bird's balanced. And this part of the leg is in proportion to that part of the leg. So I'll put the eye on now, and the eye will be quite close to the front of the head. Okay, and then we'll put the beak on. Uh, for this robin, it's going to be something like that. Now, for uh, still looks a bit like a snowman with a carrot stuck in its face. But for the beak, it's got to be correct again. So if I go back to my kingfisher, he's going to have a beak like that. And for the swan, we'll have a bill like that. You know, every bird's different and basically draw what you see and you probably won't go far wrong. And you can study these. You know, any bird guide's got a good book on feather patterns and all the pictures are done by professional bird artists. So generally they're all good. Look at the bill shapes for finches. They're going to be quite thick. For uh, warblers, they're going to be quite thin because they eat little insects and flies. For the ducks, the dabbling ducks, they're going to be wide and broad because they dabble. And then for the kingfisher, which takes fish, it's going to be quite sharp bill. So we'll crack on putting a bit more detail. So now I want to turn it from a snowman bird into uh, something a bit more realistic. And I do this by going around the lines that I've put on there. Coming down there. And there are straight lines as well, but the, the circle's a guide. You haven't got to follow that. That'll be the mantle. The wing will come up there. We'll put the wing in like this. You see, I'm not exactly following my lines. I'm just using them as a guide. Then the tail will come here on this one. Under tail covers, upper tail covers be hidden by the wing. 
they're just feather groups above there. They're the legs. Don't do the legs too thin, but don't do them too thick. Come down here. Like that. So gradually we're getting into something that looks a bit more like a bird. I'm not really happy with the eye position or the bill, but we won't order at the moment. It's just a sketch. Uh, the bill will probably be a bit, bit more like that. And the head would probably be a bit more like that. So we'll put a line in there just to show that's better. Then we'll put some feather groups on now. So the ear, the bird's ears are behind its eyes, but are hidden behind a very important group of um, uh, feathers called ear coverts. So they basically curve from the top there round like this. And usually it has a bit of an eye stripe as well. And we'll just put a roof on the top of that eye to make that look a bit more realistic and we'll colour it in because it always looks more realistic then like that so gradually we're getting into some sort of more realistic bird shape the mental will be there there'll be a, a separating line between the primary feathers and we may go that into into that on a separate video and the secondary feathers which are there and this this is going to come down there like that bit more refined gradually building up the sketch so we'll put a bit of a line there to delineate for its red breast and its body and then I'll put its toes on so it has it'll have three toes two bones three bones four bones like that so hopefully you're getting a rough idea of that but as said it's a sketch uh, if I were gonna do it again uh, on the lawn uh, then I would change that bill shape put the head up like that eye there little roof on the eye ear coverts yes I'm a bit happy with that one so practice makes perfect have a go at that have a go on the lawn, use your binoculars, um, copy from a Arts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust magazine. Um, there's some fantastic pictures in there, I've just got my uh, copy today in fact. Um, but try and work on the basis process of getting the body and the head shape right, the beak right, the triangles for the wings, uh, kingfishers, wings sort of curve in a bit, they're a bit different. These towels down there, it's quite a blunt towel. That comes like that. That's there. That's there. Up we go. And I'm not gonna not gonna colour that. Could be a kingfisher in the evening, sitting on a branch. There we go. Not gonna colour that one in. But it's quite simple, so don't be frightened to have a go. If you've got any questions, uh, please contact uh, the Hearts of Middlesex Wildlife Trust. Um, happy to answer any questions via email. And um, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.